Yeah. They will be in a minute, because I'll just call it on them. They're on their way. <laughs> OK. Can you put it back on? Hold them off. Hold them off back 45 minutes. Have you got them? Go on, boss. OK. Tommy Robinson, uh, today has been a, a, a good a good day for you, and it was it was a, a marvelous demo with a lot of people. Tell us a bit um, about the, why this demo today. It was a successful day, um, a very successful day. We've seen weeks and weeks of scaremongering by our council and by our politicians, implying that we're coming to riot and cause trouble. We're a peaceful protest movement, um, and we came today and we peacefully protested, and the world was watching. And that's what we want. We want attention. We want people to hear what we're saying. We want media attention. We need we need Middle England to listen to us because we're living in these communities, and it's not good where we're living. Militant Islam and is spreading like a cancer for our, for our country. And no politician, no representative. There's not one politician. There is not one. That's why we've had to form our, our own leaders. We will speak for ourselves. We don't need politicians. We are our own community and we represent ourselves. And do you plan to become a political party yourself or ideal or make an alliance with somebody? No, not really because um, Islamism and, and militant Islam affects um, people who would vote for Labour, Conservative and Lib Dem. So all of them are attracted to the fact that we oppose militant Islam. So we don't want to align ourselves with any group and become a right-wing organisation because militant Islam affects everybody. It affects people on the left. Sharia law affects us all. So we leave our, we're, we're a pressure group, that's what we are. Okay. What has been achieved today, in your opinion? Um, we have, I believe today was the start of the English Defence League. Uh, everyone says back to where it began. I, I believe today is where we really concreted our organisation. We showed that we complete our own demonstration. We showed our numbers, our strength, our force. And we showed that uh, we will highlight these issues. And we, from, from here, we will only get bigger and we will only get stronger. That's it. Yeah. You've produced recently a message statement for EDL. Can you speak a bit about it? Um, we oppose to our law in all aspects. We oppose the force feed of halal. We want options. Um, we, want, we want peace. That's what we want. And we haven't got peace. That, we haven't got peace. We want, we want to be free men again. And we're not free men. And that's what we want. We want freedom. We do, Ben. Yeah. And uh, today uh, we, th there was um, foreign uh, representatives. Um, what? What? Is, is it important for you? Yeah, it is important because uh, militant Islam is not an English problem or a British problem. It's a worldwide problem. And I believe that other countries are now looking to, uh, to what we're doing and how we're responding to militant Islam. And I believe that across Europe, Sweden, Holland, France you will see defence leagues taking action. And we will unite you like no one has ever seen you. We didn't choose to be in the European Union. We were put in the European Union. And we were put in there. We will unite our European brothers and sisters. And uh, how do you propose to, how do you plan to um, cooperate with different countries? Um, we're in constant contact with different organisations. Um, I believe the English Defence League setting a stride, we're setting an example, and people will follow, and we will give inspiration to Europeans so for them to realise that they can say no, they can disagree with Islam, they can stand up, they can have their voices heard. It's time, the time is now. The okay. time is now. And if you have a message for European fellows, what will you say to, for example, French people? Who, who are looking what you are doing now and have hope and have hope and say, well, EDL is doing a good job in England. Stand up, stand up now. Stand up. Stand up, if not for yourself, for your children. The time is now. Stand up. You do not need to sit down. Be brave. And that's what we have to do. We have to meet it. Meet it head on. Do not be fearful. Because we're not fearful. And, and we are all together. You harm one of us, you harm all of us. We're a brotherhood. Stand with us. So it's a call for courage and action. It's a call for courage. It's a call for braveness. It's a call for dedication. And you have to be brave. Like, obviously, we're fighting militant Islam. It's a disease. It's, it's a big thing we're going up against. You have to be brave. So the English motto has always and will always be no surrender. And European brothers and sisters need to follow that. And we, the Europeans defeat Nazism. We will defeat Islam. And uh, we know that Kevin Carroll was attacked very recently. Yeah. Uh, 
what can you say about that? Um, is there an official reaction from, uh, from um, England? We're calling for peace, to be honest. If we want to push the button, we'll push the button. To see, we, we, have, um, we have divisions across the whole country. We're calling for calm, to be honest. We're calling for calm and restraint. A lot of people want to take action against what's happened. As an organisation, we don't want that. Um, we, 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 we're morally better than that. Uh, Islam rules of fear and intimidation. Christianity doesn't. That's how we win. OK, thank you. Cheers, Gandalf. Peace. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> thank you.